a little over a year ago, I was sitting in my classroom after school when our receptionist called to say that the principal wanted to see me in his office. Now, I began teaching back in 1984, and my excellent principal, Kevin Huskins, is a lot younger than I am, but still. Can I get a show of hands from the teachers out here? How many of you still get a knot in your stomach when you're called to the principal's office? Yeah, all right, okay. I thought so. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. What Mr. Huskins wanted to talk to me about was not an angry parent or my lackluster Moodle, uh, but Coach University. He wondered if I might be interested, along with my friend and colleague Tracy Howell, in joining a cohort of teachers being trained to be instructional coaches. The good things I had already seen North Carolina new schools do at Mountain Heritage made me open to the idea. Then, when he said it would be a chance to leave the cool streams and shady mountains of Yancey County for a week of heavy traffic and hot sun in Raleigh, I, I knew I couldn't resist. <laughs> and I am so glad he asked me. Coach University is amazing. Like you, I've been subjected to my share of professional development over the years. I've bumbled around with Bloom's taxonomy. I've designed kinesthetic lessons for English language learners. And yes, I know what a Moodle is and that I'd better be using one. But I've never seen anything like Coach University. Beginning with an intensive week of cohort building, immersive learning, model teaching, and naturally, reading, writing, speaking, and thank you. We 41 students began to get a feel for the knowledge, skills, and habits of mind necessary for student-centered learning and instructional coaching. Now, summer, summer PD can be pretty casual. Coach University is not. It's anything but. It's hard. President Nash is all business. Sometimes it seems like a Socratic seminar on steroids. Sometimes the work that we thought was our best was not good enough. For the first couple of days, I wondered if the juice was worth the squeeze. It certainly was. The learning was profound. Not one word of criticism was ever spoken, but the phrases, I noticed and I wonder, began to freeze our spines. <coughs> I noticed one of the presenters leaning on a table while talking. And I wondered if that was effective body language. I noticed an exclamation point on slide two. I wondered why it was there. I noticed that a five minute presentation was five and a half minutes long and I wondered how it could have been shortened. During that long, hot, and wonderful week, we began to understand that the power of profound improvement lies not in external evaluation, but in objective observation of our practice and the use to which we ourselves put those observations. Through self-examination comes success. After that enlightening week, we met several times during the year for further practice and learning. We received visits from master coaches. A learning tour of a new school's high school showed us the possibilities inherent in the instructional coaching model. Our, wo our work culminates in the many sessions we're conducting here in sunny Charlotte this week. I come away from my year at Coach University with a new appreciation of what a learning community can be. More importantly though, Coach University has given me a new vision of my school and myself as places where the power for dramatic improvement lies within. Thank you.